Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So another awesome review for you guys today. This is the brand new Ego Power Plus 3200 PSI 1.2 gallons per minute battery powered pressure washer. So as you can tell, it is a fully cordless situation here. Uh, by the way, don't worry, I'll leave the links to all this stuff in the description under the video for you guys to check everything out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Also quick disclaimer, Ego did not send me this and this is not a sponsored video. Nobody paid for this video. So uh, quite an interesting thing. Uh, this was released a little over a month ago at this point, uh, not found in Canada yet. So I had to order it from the US. Uh, it was stuck at the border for whatever reasons with the shipping company. It was complicated, but it is finally here. Uh, I got this from my friends over at uh, Car Supplies Warehouse. I love ordering stuff from over there. Great service as usual. If, if you're in the US or even if you're in Canada like me and you want to get access to some stuff that's not available uh, elsewhere, again, check the links in the description. So this is a fully cordless situation. We're going to talk about all the features because there's a lot of pros, but there are some cons as well. But I know before we do a deep dive into all of this, let's jump right into the demo because we're a detailing channel here, right? So if we can't use this to detail our cars, this is of no interest to anyone. So we're first going to start with a demo two ways this time. So one, we're going to use this tube here that comes with a filter. So this is a siphon tube that we're going to put into a bucket with five gallons of water because this is going to be our water supply because it's fully cordless and battery powered. It makes sense to test it how it's supposed and meant to be used, which means total uh, separation of any dependence on a garden hose with water supply or electrical power outlets for your power, right? So we have the batteries, we have a bucket with the water. We're going to be testing the performance with the siphon tube, so directly from the bucket. Uh, and then just to make sure, we're also going to compare how it compares with my garden hose with, I think in my house, the rating is roughly 80 PSI that comes out of the uh, water spigot. Uh, so we're going to see if there's a difference using a traditional water supply from a garden hose setup uh, versus the siphon tube. Also, they supply a foam cannon. It's actually not too bad for a like included kit foam cannon, but we're going to test the performance of this too and uh, see how it foams up or not and how good everything else is. They supply you a bunch of different uh, equipment and parts with it. We're going to go over that later on for the uh, specifications. But uh, right away, we can see they supply the uh, lance and gun. This is detachable with uh, quick connect type options. So you can connect your lance, you can disconnect, and then you can add, oops, sorry about that. You can add your foam cannon on there super quickly. So they thought of a lot of cool stuff. You can even control the speeds here uh, on, the, um, on the gun. And uh, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. So all that through wireless technology. So let's go ahead, dive into the demo and see uh, if this is, this is worthwhile and then come back to talk about the specs, the pros, the cons, if there is value for money in there and give you my uh, thoughts and opinions on it. All right, so let's start with the uh, foam cannon. In here, there's 500 mils of warm water and uh, also the uh, Phoenix EOD. Uh, the Apex Auto Wash soap, uh, about an ounce in there. That should be more than plenty. We're going to see the foaming capabilities. And again, right now, we're doing the test with the uh, gallon of water as our water supply with a siphon tube connected uh, directly into the inlet of the uh, pressure washer. So let's have a look at this uh, foam cannon that comes with it. All right, so it pretty much went through uh, the 500 ml bottle. There's almost nothing left uh, to cover my entire vehicle. This isn't uh, the uh, biggest car on there. So it goes through solution quite a bit. I set it to the uh, maximum foam capability with the dial, by the way. So this is uh, as much foam as this could produce. It's not the uh, best I have seen. However, decent job. So for a uh, entry level foam cannon that's included in the kit, uh, I think it's pretty good. By the way, I had the gun here on turbo mode, which is going to give us the most gallons per minute of water flow. We're going to talk about that uh, a bit later on. So I'm going to let that dwell a bit. We're going to come back to rinse that off. And uh, yeah. All right, guys. So it's now time to uh, rinse. We're going to see the performance. Again, I'm going to put this uh, in turbo mode for the highest performance. We've now attached this lance. And also I'm using the 40 degree tip. Uh, that's my preferred tip to wash vehicles. Note that you have a 15 degree 
uh, nozzle uh, included, a 25 degree nozzle, uh, mainly if you want to wash your wheels, that's what I use the 25 for. Some people like washing the cars, but I find it's a bit too narrow. I prefer a 40 degree tip. Uh, and then you have other nozzles that we're going to talk about, like the turbo one made for other duties, not for washing cars. So let's have a look now at the uh, rinse performance with the, uh, the Lance and the 40 degree nozzle installed. All right, so one thing I can immediately note, uh, the siphon is at the bottom of the bucket. There's almost no water left. Uh, I foamed the vehicle and then we rinsed about three quarters of it. This is not a big vehicle, right? A Porsche 911 Turbo S. Um, and so I have to refill the bucket. So just keep that in mind. To wash a normal size vehicle, you're probably gonna have to refill your bucket at least once. All right, we're back in action with a full bucket of water. So let's continue the rinsing. All right, so that does it for the uh, foaming and rinsing. Quite impressive. Uh, and this is from a standalone water source from the bucket. So I used one and a half buckets uh, until now. Uh, of course, you do the contact wash and rinse again. So most likely perhaps a third fill up. So uh, two to three buckets of water to uh, wash your vehicle with the 40 degree nozzle on turbo mode. So you're gonna have a higher GPM or water flow, gallons per minute. That's the water output. That's what we want when we're detailing cars. PSI, we don't really want to exceed 2000 anyways. When uh, washing cars, it's not that important. What we want is gallons per minute. So depending on which tip you're putting, you're controlling the pressure and the water flow as well. We're gonna talk about that. Uh, but now let's make the comparison. I'm gonna switch water supplies to my garden hose setup as I would for my normal pressure washer, my Krenzler 1122 TST. Uh, and we're gonna see if a traditional water supply to it increases the performance or alters anything. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so back for the second portion of the test, I now hooked up my water supply from my garden hose setup. So this has obviously uh, more PSI running into it, roughly 80 for my house, 75 to 80 PSI, uh, compared to, well, nothing from a bucket, right? And we're gonna use the same soapy solution, 500 mils of warm water with about an ounce uh, of the Phoenix EOD Apex Auto Wash. And we're gonna connect the foam cannon to the foam gun. I'm using the uh, same speed so uh, the turbo mode, and it's cool because you can also check your battery levels on this. We're gonna talk about it uh, again, but uh, I've only had one bar go down out of the five for the uh, battery level. So, uh, and this is on turbo mode. So that's the one that consumes the most energy. So you can definitely do at least a full vehicle with uh, those two six amp hour batteries on there. So let's foam it. And then we're gonna do the rinsing again and see if there's any difference uh, using the traditional water supply. Okay, so uh, same thing this time around. Uh, we also emptied the 500 mil bottle uh, for the go. One or two passes there on the vehicle. I'm not seeing much of a difference as far as uh, foam generation uh, in both water source comparisons. So whether it's water from the bucket with a siphon tube, or in this case, the water supply from my garden hose setup. Um, so it seems pretty identical. Pretty standard stuff. Uh, not the best foam. Obviously, it's not the best foam cannon I've ever seen. But again, uh, for a kit, foam cannon that's supplied in there. At least it's not one of the cheap ones. Uh, it comes with the nice quick type connect there and you have the controls on the knob for the foam output. Uh, you can even determine if you have a horizontal or a vertical fan output. So uh, not too bad, like the quality is decent and uh, the foam is okay-ish. You guys let me know what do you think so far. Drop a comment in the comment section. So now let's go ahead and rinse all of that off using the same lance and the same 40 degree tip and see if we notice a difference. Okay. 
All right, so there is a difference, uh, definitely noticeable in sound and the amount of water that comes out when I use my uh, traditional water supply. However, the good news for now is that even with the bucket, with the siphon tube, it was more than plenty uh, pressure and uh, water output. But uh, yeah, if you do have access to a water supply, well then you can use that. Uh, the other good thing that I can notice is for the batteries, uh, despite all the testing that we've done right now, only two bars down out of the uh, five bars. So let me show you this, it's pretty cool because you can check your power level at any time. So we have three out of the five. So that's pretty decent. And this tells me uh, that you're gonna have more than plenty operational time to wash a vehicle. I used the higher performance turbo mode, uh, which they claim can last up to 15 minutes. Uh, and I have no reason to doubt those claims. That makes total sense, especially with what we've been doing now. Uh, if you put it in the uh, normal mode, you're gonna get double that. So up to 30 minutes of runtime, and that's more than plenty enough to wash cars as well. And if you put it into eco mode, you're looking about an hour, uh, but that's not as suited for washing cars. You're not getting the optimal performance out of it. Uh, but yeah, so what do you guys think so far? Let's dive into technical specs, the pros and the cons. That was for the testing portion. So as we noticed, again, with the bucket and the uh, provided siphon tube and this weighted filter in the bottom there, uh, it provides more than enough pressure and flow. So if you're a mobile detailer, for example, uh, and you have just your uh, water tank uh, in your truck, or you bring your own buckets with water and you don't have access to a water supply at your customer's place, uh, or you don't have any power, I think this is a great solution. We're gonna have to talk about who is this for, right? Um, we're gonna get towards that uh, towards uh, that answer more at the end of this video, because there's still questions in my mind. Who is this really made for? Uh, first of all, let's talk about the price. Very important, at the moment of this recording in March of 2024, the uh, pressure washer unit itself with all the accessories and two six, six amp hour batteries is priced at roughly 850 US dollars. So it is not inexpensive, but that's mainly because of the cost of the two batteries. So if you already are in the Ego uh, kind of lineup and their ecosystem, uh, like I am with my uh, Ego blower, I have a, an edge trimmer. So I have uh, a bunch of batteries as well. Uh, well, then it's a good thing. You don't have to splurge on batteries. You can start with two five amp hour batteries and you're good to go. Uh, but they provide two six amp hour batteries if uh, you want the full kit. If you just want the pressure uh, washer itself, it's anywhere between 450 uh, to 500 US dollars at the moment of this recording. So significantly less money if you already have the batteries. So again, the majority of the cost goes into the batteries. So what else do you get? You get a product manual with all the instructions, of course. Uh, you also get uh, a little tip here. Let me show you that closely. So you can clean the uh, nozzles or orifices that you have, those little jets there, the 15, 40, the 25 degrees, all that kind of stuff. Uh, they give you a standard 320 watt charger. Uh, although I use uh, my turbo charger uh, from uh, Ego because it uh, charges up in half the time or a lot quicker at least, especially for the bigger capacity batteries. Uh, this is still decent there, but you can get the higher capacity ones. I'll leave those linked uh, in the video description. Uh, what else do they provide? So we said that they provide this uh, siphon tube so that you can take water from a water bucket uh, and it comes with this uh, quick connect type filter at the end. It's weighted so it's going to stay at the uh, end of the bucket. Let me show you this up close. So this is the filter unit itself. So it goes inside the bucket of water and it's a quick connect type thing. It's weighted again so it's going to stay in the bottom of the bucket and it filters the water. I think that's a cool little thing. So they supply you with a hose here. Uh, it is very, very high quality. So for a stock pressure washer hose, if I look at an entry level uh, Karcher K5 that I had, I had two of those, one updated unit and another one prior to that for over a decade. Uh, and the stock um, hoses that come with it aren't that great. Uh, so this is definitely much higher quality. They come with brass quick connect options. Let me show you this here. Length of this is 25 foot of a quarter inch pressure hose. It's similar in construction to something like an Uberflex or a Flexilla, uh, but to me, uh, compared to a high quality Uberflex, perhaps not the exact same thing, but definitely this is pliable. It's kink free. However, as you noticed in the video, it tends to bunch up. So I still, this is fairly new there. I've had this for barely a week at this point. Uh, so a few uh, days of testing. So maybe it's going to get better, but it has the tendency to, as you saw in the video, to curl up uh, like this and to bunch up. 
despite my best efforts to keep it straight. So it's a tangled little mess, but you do get 25 feet, very high quality and uh, some quick connects. Everything, by the way, is so easy to connect with the uh, unit itself. Uh, by the way, the weight without the batteries of the machine is 36 pounds uh, or 16.4 kilos, by the way. So of course, a lot of the added weight is when you put in the, uh, the batteries. Um, what do you guys think of the foam cannon? Quite decent, right? Not too bad, not too shabby. So if we have a look at it up close, this is the foam cannon itself. Uh, again, the uh, control knob here to adjust how much soap or how much suds you want from the pickup tube inside there. It has their, this is not a quarter inch quick connect, but this is their proprietary or whatever quick connect this is. This, I don't know what type of quick connect it is, but it is a quick connect to make things simple. Uh, 500 mils, 200 mils, 100, uh, 300 mils and 100 mils markings here. Very simple to open, simple tube, nothing uh, revolutionary there, but it uh, just goes on fairly easily. It locks in there. The bottle itself is pliable, so not the sturdiest plastic ever, but at least if you drop it, I don't think there's any fears uh, of breaking it. Uh, you have this controller here for a horizontal or a vertical fan output. So overall, it did a decent job. Like, And we, we were using, however, very good quality soap. So uh, with a uh, very good foam cannon and my traditional pressure washer, I do get more foam output. But again, for one that comes with the kit, hey, uh, my only gripe is there's no holder on there, at least not that I can see for the foam cannon itself. It would have been nice if they had something there because everything else that's included uh, is very neatly presented. For example, there is a holder for the wand. So very smart once again. And uh, this wand too, this lance at the end has that quick connection. And here at the other end as well, this is where you're going to put your 15, uh, your 25, your 40 degree tips. So this quick connect uh, made out of brass. So very sturdy. Uh, ergonomically speaking, it fits nicely into your hand. Then there's the holder for the wand. There's another holder for the gun itself. And I think this is pretty cool. So look at the ergonomics. You can lock the trigger. So nobody pulls it accidentally. You unlock it on the other side. There's their quick connect here. So you can attach your foam cannon or your lance as you want. And also here up top, you have your battery indicator and you have your turbo mode, high mode or low mode or called eco mode. So you can select that by pressing the speed button here while you're operating at a distance. So this is a wirelessly controlled uh, gun attachment. It has this quick connect option once again at the end. So you can connect it very easily as you guys saw. You pull it towards you and you're going to put your lance in there and very, very sturdy. There's no real play into this. So I like how sturdy all of that is. And then you disconnect that and you can take your pressure washer attachment. Same procedure once again, pull that green thing back, put your pressure washer in, you lock that in and there you go. You have your foam cannon and your gun attachment spray on and then very simple disconnect. So I like how they thought about that. You have the 15 degree nozzle. Let me bring you the three ones that are concerned for detailing. You have a 15 degree nozzle. I don't really use this one for car detailing though. You have the 25 degree nozzle. So a lot of guys like using these to uh, clean wheels, by the way. And the classic or my favorite one, the white tip. 40 degrees. So this has a wider fan. That's my preferred one. So I use a 40 degree tip with my Krenzel as well when I'm using that. Uh, they all have these quick connect attachments, by the way. So uh, you can check out my friend, I'm Josh V. So uh, Josh's YouTube channel, I'll leave the video linked in the description for all the specs. He tested the pressures and water output with this. So for the uh, 40 degree tip, uh, so on low mode, you get 890 PSI at one gallon per minute with the 40 degree tip. So as you can see, low mode is not really suited for washing cars. Uh, on high mode, that's their like standard mode, the medium mode, you get 1,450 PSI and 1.26 gallons per minute of water output. So a little higher than their own rated 1.2 GPM, which is the max rated output uh, when you're using the gun itself. When you add the lance, we're gonna talk about that as well. Um, so that's very, very good, by the way. So good water flow, uh, but the best water flow is on turbo mode. So the one I was using, 
that generates 2160 psi safe enough for washing cars at 1.53 gallons per minute so just over 1.5 uh, out of a battery powered unit yeah you're not going to have any issues with uh, performance as far as pressure or especially water flow is concerned uh, for me gallons per minute or the water output is the more important number um, and yeah by the way if you want to know how many cleaning units your pressure washer setup uh, gives you it's the amount of psi multiplied by the gpm and that gives you a cu amount so that multiplier uh, gives you a total result and that result is your cleaning units uh, so this is a pretty decent pressure washer as far as performance uh, is concerned I was very skeptical for a battery powered uh, unit and uh, then I saw Josh's videos he was one of the first to review it uh, and there's uh, also uh, cars with Kiev very good review on it as well I highly encourage you to go check out both of those channels they did a great job uh, testing this and they came to this I think the same conclusions like it is surprising guys you would not expect this kind of performance so it's two gallons per minute or 7.5 liters per minute if you use only the short gun so that's the uh, water flow and the maximum rated flow if you use the gun and lance together that drops down to 1.2 gallons per minute or 4.5 liters per minute so that's their initial spec and that maximum pressure well you're going to get that if you use different type orifices that's how you control your pressure uh, so if you're using for example so I gave you the numbers with the 40 degree tip right so in turbo mode the mode I used is 2160 psi and 1.53 gallons per minute uh, that's what Josh got in his tests uh, but if you want to serve some battery life and get double the amount of time roughly half an hour of operation uh, you can also use it in high mode that's the medium mode and again you're getting 1400 psi at 1.26 gallons per minute of water output or close to 1.3 gpm uh, uh, that's fairly decent comparable to what a Karcher K5 for example uh, would give you which is very very decent so if you switch over to the 25 degree tip so this is the green tip itself uh, on turbo mode you're getting 2330 psi out of this if you put the 15 degree yellow tip uh, on there you're on turbo mode once again you're going to get 2900 psi so that's how you get close to their max rated right is by changing the orifices so the orifices themselves is how big that hole is so the smaller the hole the more pressure you're getting but the less water flow because there's more resistance and the wider the orifice itself uh, that's on there you're getting more water flow but a slightly reduced pressure so as long as you're anywhere between a thousand to two thousand psi uh, when you're washing cars it's totally fine if you use the turbo nozzle you're going to get uh, on turbo mode 920 psi uh, and there's a rinse nozzle that's also included so let me show you those so they give you a button there's these nice little grommets up top that allow you to store your nozzle so i really really like that so this here is the rinse nozzle so this doesn't have any pressure there's little to no pressure it's basically just like using your gun on its own without any tip if you've done that before with your pressure washer so that can be for your final rinse if you just want a trickle of water for example and then you get a turbo nozzle that is zero degrees on this one and again on turbo mode you get 920 psi so do not use the turbo nozzle on cars or wooden surfaces uh, also never use hot water or water from pool uh, or lakes warm water is okay i had warm water in the bucket and it works totally fine but don't go to hot water uh, also once primed using the siphon hose uh, as we had in the description you're still getting good results what are the cons because the performance is all there first of all the standard quarter inch quick connect so if you want to use uh, your own hoses your own guns and lances you're going to have to use some adapters on there there is no onboard storage for the foam cannon so it's just another thing laying around that you have to kind of store especially if you're mobile it would have been nice that they add that um, and also the price it is very expensive again with the two batteries included two six amp hour lithium ion you're looking at 850 us dollars uh, not available in canada yet so i'm expecting the price to be north of a thousand dollars Canadian easily uh, our exchange rate is not in our favor as Canadians um, but yeah so the uh, two batteries if you get just the kit alone without the batteries you're still looking at roughly 450 USD uh, so it is not inexpensive if you already have the batteries great however this is still more expensive than things like a Karcher K1700 uh, it is more expensive than an active 2.0 pressure washer that I tested on the channel that I also really really like um, you can go check out a video that I made uh, with Josh in collab so we tested a bunch of different 
different pressure washers at different price points, entry level below $100 stuff to all the way to the Krenzla 1122 at close to two grand. So you can have a look at that. So the performance, uh, the value, the specs, all that kind of stuff. I'll leave that linked by the way in the description. So uh, this leaves me to a question where I think it's pretty clear that overall the performance is definitely there. So whether you're using it with the uh, water supply uh, from your garden hose or you're using a bucket with the siphon tube, uh, the performance is definitely there. Again, I have no issues with that. However, um, there are some cons that you can't ignore, price being one of them. But if I look at the overall build quality, I did a review of their cordless vacuum not too long ago and this follows in that same direction, meaning that the build quality is Absolutely amazing. I have no gripes with it. Um, the wheels, they are plastic. Yes, they're plastic. However, uh, they're very, very sturdy. You also get the uh, push button here with the handle itself that is retractable. So it makes this unit very, very compact, as you can tell. So uh, this is not super uh, heavyweight, even with the batteries in there, it's fully manageable. You can roll it around, but this just makes it so handy. You get the uh, holders on the side for the gun itself, which I like, it stays put in there and you get the holder for the lance. How amazing is that? Uh, in the front, very simple operation, power on button and you have your uh, speed adjustment button as well, either on the unit itself or again on the gun. So they thought of everything. I just really like it. There's even this little kick plate here so you can push with your foot and you just roll it around to wherever you want to put it. So for uh, washing stuff, uh, like pavements or uh, maybe driveways that are super long. You want to clean the deck in uh, the back of your home or some areas where you have no access to water, where you could bring a uh, gallon or your bucket uh, with water itself, use the siphon tube and there you go, battery powered. You don't have uh, the need to have any access to a power outlet. You don't even have the need to have access to a garden hose or water supply. You can bring your own with a bucket. So I think the practicality is 10 on 10. Uh, build quality, amazing. I have nothing to say, especially at this price point. At this price point. Is it built like a German tank, like the Krenzla at uh, what more than double the price? No, of course not. You get what you pay for. However, at its price point, I'd compare it to anything out there as far again as the build quality is concerned. Performance, you are not going to suffer from range anxiety with this. I know a lot of people uh, freak out when we talk about battery powered stuff. Is it going to last enough? You can wash a full car with these two 6 amp batteries, foam the car, rinse it down, wash the car, rinse it again, no problem. Um, the batteries are still gonna have, like in my case, I still had three bars on a bigger vehicle. You're probably gonna have two or one bar left. Uh, but again, cars with Kiev and also I'm Josh V, both of them didn't have any gripes or issues with the power as well. So this is not uh, just me, but everybody seems to be on board with as far as the, uh, the power is concerned. You're not gonna uh, run uh, out of battery power when you're washing your car, especially again, if you're using the normal mode, the medium mode, which they call high mode, you're going to get 30 minutes of runtime, up to 30 minutes uh, with their batteries. And that's more than enough because you're not constantly using it, right? It's not 30 minutes of continual operation. You're rinsing, you let it down, you do your stuff, foam it down, rinse it. Then again, you're dropping. So it's not a continual use, right? So you have more than enough to do. Maybe perhaps even a few uh, small cars with these two sinks and power batteries. Uh, if you have a big charger, you can go ahead. Uh, I think they mentioned you can use it with just one uh, six amp hour battery. However, of course, you're going to decrease your performance a lot as far as durability with time is concerned. So I would go with the two full batteries if you can. And um, yeah, I don't have much complaints. The performance too, if we look at the water output and the uh, PSI with the 40 degree um, orifice or nozzle that I used uh, in my test, we're clocking in at over 2000 PSI, according to Josh with the, the tests that he made. And uh, you're looking at uh, a very, very healthy 1.5 GPM. And if you, if you, even if that's in turbo mode, if you put it into high mode, if I remember correctly before, I'm saying uh, crap there. Yeah, on high mode, you're still getting 1450 PSI and almost 1.3 gallons per minute. So this would be comparable on the uh, normal mode or the medium modes to uh, a decent pressure washer, uh, like a Karcher K5 once again, or a Karcher 1700 as far as water flow is concerned. If you want something better and less expensive, you'll probably have uh, to look elsewhere. Obviously, there's a lot of good units out there. You tell me what you guys think. But if you've tested this, what is your personal experience? Uh, I've never had any 
issues with my Ego products in the past, but I have to note, I did see some viewer comments that had some issues uh, with their Ego blowers, for example. As far as the batteries are concerned, sometimes they do have decent, uh, very good warranties on the batteries themselves. So yeah, a lot of them still had a great customer experience, at least with the replacement of the batteries under warranty, if that is the case. Uh, but for me, myself, I've been using Ego products for years now, never had an issue. Uh, I got an Ego blower for my dad as well a few years ago, so we can uh, blow the water off his ceramic coated um, Subaru, uh, so he can make his cleaning life a lot easier. He's in his 70s, and late 70s now, so I try to provide him with tools and gear and equipment that can make the entire process less backbreaking, right? So he loves the, the blower and never had issues as well. And so, yeah, overall, guys, uh, what can I say? I still can't really understand who this would be for, though. So I can understand maybe a mobile detailer that has no access to a water supply or uh, power where he goes to, but then you'd normally have a generator and a water tank in your truck, so that shouldn't be an issue. So is it for a mobile detailer that does not have that equipment? Would you guys use this in uh, your house, for example? Would you have use for this uh, for outside, doing some stuff uh, either near the garden area, your backyard, your pool deck, your, um, I don't know, your, your concrete surfaces, or your driveway to clean some stuff up? Like, what kind of duty uh, would you use this for uh, as far as detailing the if you're looking at purely the performance it is there durability of the batteries absolutely no problem build quality absolutely no problem so the biggest cons uh, again is probably the price and the use at that price point who is this for um, I think that was a question that many still ask but as far, again, performance, price, it's all there. Uh, I wish they would reduce the pricing of their stuff. However, at 450 bucks, if you already have the batteries, that is a pill that is much easier to swallow. But I think Ego did an awesome job if we're looking at concept. So I just love the way everything is presented, the storage, this little hander, the handle that's storable, that you can store, the uh, the lance and gun, gun setup, their uh, quick connect type options uh, that they have to make the setup very, very simple. I just wish also that the uh, water inlet uh, here up front was in the back so you don't have that hose uh, coming in the front there because we already have the, um, the, the hose that goes to the gun itself so you have two hoses coming out of the same spot in the front so that's maybe not the best as far as design but the rest I mean it looks cool as well and uh, yeah I like it I enjoy it however the price I wish they can work hard on that. Does that make any sense? Hope you guys enjoyed the review. I'll leave the links to all this stuff in the description under the video for you guys to check it out. Share it with uh, family and friends, this video, if you think anybody can benefit from this. And what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts, your opinions, whether you've used it or not. Are you planning on maybe purchasing this? And does this satisfy your needs and what kind of uses you'd have out of them? Start a conversation. I always like reading you guys and uh, replying to the comments as well. So thanks for being there. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean. And I'll see you on the next one.